Hey, welcome to this uh, Windows 8 channel video. And um, this is uh, little observations of the August update, um, which was supposed to be update 2, but became August update. And it's still a pretty big update, and it did a lot of changes in Windows itself, but not much in the visuals. But one thing that uh, I've got many people telling me that they noticed, and I actually have the same thing. When you're on your start screen, there's the taskbar can be shown at the bottom when you go at the bottom of the start screen. That's a feature that was implemented with update one. But I've noticed that when my toolbar property says that uh, I don't have auto hide for the toolbar, I notice that when I'm on my start screen, if I don't get the taskbar, there's no problem. But if I get the taskbar at the bottom and move out back to the start screen, it doesn't go away. So this is directly related to the update of uh, August because it didn't do that before I had that update. And uh, since I've posted a video online about the update, I've had several people uh, sending me messages telling me, well, since the update, my taskbar on the start screen uh, doesn't disappear. So um, it's as if they changed something that made the taskbar appear and stay there if you aren't using the auto hide feature. It's not that big of a deal, but um, it does prevent you if you're using a mouse from going down and uh, you know going left and right because the option for going left and right is actually below the taskbar. It's unaccessible. So it's kind of a little annoying here. So if you want to fix that, the only thing that I can see for now is um, simply right click your taskbar at the bottom, go into properties and uh, well check something. I'll remove the lock here. Just want to see. So I removed the lock, but I don't think it's going to change that. If I go back down and try to get the taskbar, here we go. Yep, it doesn't change anything. So uh, the properties is really to go to auto hide the taskbar and apply, then OK. Uh, but the unfortunate thing is that it does auto hide even on your desktop now. So you'll have to go to the bottom to get it. But if you go into your start screen and get the taskbar, when you move away, it disappears. So it's, uh, I don't know if it's something that they really wanted. Um, or it's just that it's one of those uncontrolled and... Um, you know, uncontrolled bug or uncontrolled effect of the updates that they've actually uh, sent us. But uh, if you find it annoying that the taskbar stays there, uh, go to properties and put the auto hide feature. Personally, um, I noticed that it does it, but I don't really mind because when, when I'm on the start screen, first of all, I rarely go to the taskbar at the bottom. And if I do go to the taskbar at the bottom to get the taskbar, then uh, if it stays there, I don't really care because I use my two fingers on my trackpad to actually go left and right. So, uh, and if you have a touch screen, it doesn't really matter either. You just swipe. So it depends on what you do and how you use, but uh, it does seem to be an effect of uh, Windows uh, Update. Uh, another effect that I've noticed also is that the Windows or the Microsoft Store and apps seem to take more time to download. Uh, it's something that didn't take as much time and actually some of the apps, uh, because I had the apps download uh, several apps at a time, especially when I want to check for apps for my reviews, I noticed that when there's more than two or three apps downloading, it seems to have some kind of sluggishness. 
so maybe that's also an effect of the Windows update of August. But apart from that, everything else seems to be pretty much back to normal. So uh, these are my little observations uh, for the August update. And um, hope everything went well on your side with these updates. If you enjoy our videos, why not subscribe to our channel? You'll be in four more new videos online. If you have any comments, questions on what you've seen, let us know. Maybe you have a feature of Windows 8 that you'd like us to make a video of. Uh, let us know and we'll try to make that video. Maybe you have that new computer, that new desktop, that new um, tablet with Windows 8.1. Why not take a peek at our videos? We have lots of videos to show you how to uh, work Windows 8 and how to uh, actually use Windows 8 to the max. So thank you for watching. Bye-bye.